All right, so we're going to look at what is today known as happening, habitual acts of physical violence, how normal people do normal attacks. So we're going to start with a couple of different options. So the first of these is that Tom, you go with playing two-handed strangle. And important to remember is that these are never static. They're nearly always driving me to the floor or against the wall. You don't stand in infinity space like the Matrix. It will always be driving me to some outcome. It's hard to strangle a man in open, easy to strangle a man when his back's against the wall. But think about how small some environments can be, train carriages, cars, spas, all sorts of stuff. They can be quite hard. So what we're going to do, I'm being strangled. I'm going to take my hands here. I'm going to use an inverted style chin jab. So I'm going to strike across his head here. Okay, so I'm going to strike across his face. I'm going to step and shoot up, use a chop against the bend here. So I'm take both down and then I repeatedly hack, hack, hack until I can grab and knee. I'm hacking because I want his arms to compress. I don't want him punching, I don't want him grappling, I just want to smash his arms in to make that happen. When that happens, he's got very little offense. I can grab bang, I can smash my knee into his knee, knee into his thigh, knee into his groin. So, the strangle comes on, I take this across the face. Also, you notice, I'll invert it for the guys, I've now relieved one artery here, so I've got oxygenated blood that can come back to me. Yeah, being able then to chop at these arms breaks it. Even if it doesn't remove his hands, it bends his arms, so keep strong, I won't chop. Thank you. As soon as that is bent, the pressure is no longer there. I smash, smash, smash. I keep the pressure on him. When he's turtled, I grab viciously, boom, the knee goes in. So that's one simple hat V. Second simple hat V will be where I've been restrained by bear hug. So he's trapped me around the waist, but the arms are over, like so. And this can happen. This typically happens in multiple scenarios. One-on-one -on -one fights don't really end like this, or start like this, but he might grab me so others can finish the job. So what we're going to do is again, this inverted shot. We're gonna go over to grab a lump of face. You see, so I've struck, but the main thing is I want fingers in these eyes. I'm gonna turn his head, and then I've got a runway for this shot here. Bang! Like so, and I can chisel this right between his ear and I can take this as far as I like. I can repeat this technique very, very easily. So I'm in here. Tom's going to be moving me. He's going to be dragging me. This is going to be shit. So first, I need to smash down. Grab a lump of nose or eye and turn his head. That gives you the six to eight inch window to feed him his own face. Wow! Yep. You've got to maintain that gap. Boom, boom, boom. You want to be causing great trauma to accurate places. So think about it. I've moved his head. That's one way, but there's no way for me to attack him. So gripping a lump of something, eye or nose, gives me this window here to really fuck him up. Give that a go.